Okay, so I'm Claire Phillips and I'm project managing the public art programme for the Ironworks site, which is uh, the new housing development that's happening on the former Mill Road depot site. Um, we're working with four artists on this scheme, uh, Tom Pierman, Joe Chapman, Rodney Harris and Valda Jackson who are collaborating and also Hilary Coxcondron who is our artist in resident. So we're here at Calverley's today on our launch of our programme, Meet the Artists and there are various activities going on that people can drop in and take part in. So my name is Hilary Cox Condren. Um, I've recently been appointed as artist in residence here at the Ironworks. My passion is about using arts and creativity to build and enhance communities, to make the most of spaces and places and for social equality really and so I'm really excited in uh, being able to do some work here it's very much an on the ground um, piece of work over a two-year period. I'm going to be working very closely with Helen who's the community historian we're going to be um, exploring the history of all the neighbouring streets as well as the, um, the ironworks site so that's exciting and I think that's really important as well you know finding that heritage strong sense of identity. We're making no, the orange. fruits and veg orange. that you find on Mill Road. Tomato. The, Tomato. Any fruit and veg that, that you get on, on Mill Tomato. Road. Nanny, did you get that lovely artichoke? This one? Yeah, no, that. That, that's is it, in, or that's... Is it, or is it a hedgehog? No. Well, it's, it's sort of, it's, it's, it's work in progress. So it's not it's quite like finished. It's a half, sort of, Bald artichoke, <laughs> but it's coming. <laughs> yeah, so because the work, um, I think the, the ugly fruit just hit the deck. Um, so to make the work relevant to the local community, uh, it has to come from the local community. Did you make a sticker? So really, this is about having conversations with people about what the local community is like so that as artists we can come up with ideas to, that reflects the community. The, the, the work, the work is, is carved out of the buildings. Um, so it's a bit like um, if, you were, if you were tattooing your, yourself, how would you choose the image that you put on yourself so it might have some sort of meaning or significance? It's actually more focused on the community rather than the businesses and shops. Um, certainly it's, it, it's one way of reflecting the community that's here now rather than people who used to live here. You know, the historic, um, you know, railway workers or, or um, foundry workers or, or people like that, which also perhaps needs to be recognised. But I'm quite interested in the in the yeah. con contemporary community. And I mean, Cambridge has changed so much, you know, the, the, I mean, since the 70s, you know, it, this area has, has, the demographic of Petersfield, I mean, it's constantly changing as I'm finding out, you know, and how, how do you reflect that in a, in a work that, you know, you want something which l sort of um, reflects the community, but also, um, lives with it, if you, if you know what I mean. Uh, my name's Jo, Jo Chapman, um, and I'm a public artist, and I've been commissioned, one of the artists that's been commissioned for the Mill Road site development to make a piece of public art. Currently, I'm currently working on proposals, um, which will be concept proposals. Um, essentially, I, I work in sculpture, so it's going to be some sculptural piece, um, probably in metal, um, possibly using some sort of casting and text as well um, that relates to relates to the history of it as a, as a foundry. Um, they're big, yeah. It'll be <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I work on large scale stuff. Um, I'm currently doing a piece for um, a, a similar new development actually um, near the Blackhall Tunnel in London. Um, making a large sculpture which is about eight meters high so yeah so they are quite this one, that one is quite large um, so I think uh, this is a different kind of site it's a smaller site um, 
so probably not going to be quite on that scale I don't think and I'm interested in the sort of the outside spaces and the green spaces and maybe somehow linking linking those together with maybe a series of sculptures um, I've been doing research and um, working up ideas really and this is the first community event that we've had um, so again that's kind of quite a valuable part of it really to sort of start to get some community sort of feedback into into the project well I think there's also areas in the site that will be used by other members of the community as well not just the people that live on the site so it's it's quite possible that the the artworks might be centered around the, the the more public area which is where the community center is and the sort of open area so that there is a sort of link to the people that live here already as well as the new and somehow bringing them together a bit I think and as proposals get worked up um, you know there'll be further opportunities for people to view the proposals and to have some sort of feedback on it as well Hi, I'm Helen and I'm the community historian for the project and I'm finding out lots of fantastic stuff about the past of this neighbourhood behind the ironworks foundry. And in fact, it wasn't only a foundry, but it was also a coprolite mill. So we've been looking at lots of old maps and finding out the importance of the railway coming in 1845 and the fact that the foundry owned by the Headley family which is where the new estate is going to be built. They were in the marketplace, right in town, where the M&S is. But a foundry is not the safest thing to have by lots of market stalls that are made of wood. So more than once there were big fires from the foundry and they had a huge fire in 1846. I think the council just thought, you know, it's not appropriate anymore to have this big flamey foundry in the middle of town. So they moved it. The whole point of the project was to bring people with me. So actually I've been doing the start of the detective work and I've been putting little tags on people's doors, like those old fashioned mail tags. And I've been putting like, did you know in 1891, you had Mr. Cable the Baker living in your house and he had seven children, that kind of thing. And so it's a way that I've been able to bring the community here to come and meet the artists today because I'm the only person who's resident in the community who's working on the project and it's been really fun kind of tempting people to learn more about the businesses and the homes and the workshops that were in the neighborhood and it's still quite agricultural so the children have been enjoying finding out that there were horses in the neighborhood there were lots and lots of cows living in little sheds behind people's houses we were had dairies and bake houses everywhere there's a website resonance ironworks contact the website and then that will get filtered to me as a historian and we're having kind of regular meetings um hi there my name's tom pierman um, I'm a public artist working on the project so I've been looking at commercial and residential switches and our, yep, what our favourite switch might be just as a starting point for the themes of the artworks. Well I started off studying uh, printmaking so now I work in more three dimensions using vitreous enamel and glass. Well I think it will be using the material of vitreous enamel which is a metal ceramic process could be a variety of sizes some could be big some could be small but rather than having one large focal point piece of artwork they'd be more integrated and spread out around the development 